Hey, sorry I haven't put out a video in a while. I've been uh, really sick. That plague that's going around Toronto is a, it's a hell of a thing. But what have I been up to? Well, I got a uh, Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens for my, uh, for my camera there. And I've been doing my best to take pictures of wildlife. Of course, I think we've had a total of about 35 hours of sun in Toronto this summer. So I got a lot of pictures of dull looking squirrels and seagulls. Got a starling, some trains, not technically wildlife. But uh, the whole the whole goal here right now isn't necessarily just the wildlife. So April 8th there's a total solar eclipse that's coming up. So what I did is I went down to Kendrick Astro Instruments, it's not too too far from me, picked up a solar filter for the Sony lens. It's not just like a regular camera filter, these are, these are for like telescopes and stuff. So I put one of those on, uh, on my nice camera and uh, pointed at the sun, took a picture of the sun, and basically got a blurry ball. Eh, not bad for a first try, at least I aimed, found the sun. Last weekend I uh, went out fairly early in the morning, and uh, it's a nice sunny morning, nothing in the way, and took another picture of the sun. And this one came out pretty good, I'll put it up I'll put it up somewhere. You'll see a picture, and it's it's the sun. I, I know you've seen the sun before. Well, maybe some of you haven't, but most of you have seen the sun before. If you haven't, get, go outside. Turn the video off. Leave. Go go outside and stare at the sun for a bit. You'll like that. Anyways, I put a picture of the sun. So uh, trying to make sure I know how to use all of this fancy equipment. On the day of the eclipse because we're looking at like maybe I don't know what is it five minute window depending on where you are of solar eclipse so I want to get some good pictures of that anyways I just came out in the backyard here with the dog you know figuring I would see either no wildlife or a squirrel which I did see a squirrel lots of those there's one little bastard no coyotes recently so that's good news probably ran out of cats but yeah I saw a red-tailed hawk taken off down in the ravine didn't have my camera and fancy lens with me so that's how it goes anywho um, I'm gonna make a series of videos on how to get prepared for taking pictures of the solar eclipse uh, the first thing you're gonna want to do though is buy some solar eclipse glasses you can get them on Amazon but don't just get any kind of like don't don't get the cheapest ones because you know, you're looking at the sun. You don't want you don't want to go with the cheapest ones because you know how you got two eyes, you, but you need both of them. They're they're both good. Well, maybe with some people they don't have two, but most you got two eyes. Take care of your eyes and don't look at the sun. You'd think that would go without saying, but I seem to recall in the last solar eclipse, some dummy staring at the sun somewhere south of the border. I'm not sure where. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find a picture of that too. Anywho, that's uh, the dog vlog for today. Here's me. Ah, here's the dog. There's, where's the dog? There's the dog eating a stick. Probably gonna throw that up later. It's kind of his MO. Still don't see any coyotes. But, uh,. The rest of my archery targets are still intact, so that's the upside. Squirrels. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye.